My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, peoples, got my rabbit on my left side, but uh, yeah, um, hope he does, I hope he does not bite me, but some people been requesting me to do an updated game collection slash uh, DVD collection, and uh, that's exactly what I plan to do. So, um, I guess, because the last time I did a video like this was uh, in December, so I guess it's about that time to do an update of my DVD collection, 360 collection. Mm. Oh, you needed some seasoning, boy. And uh, my PS3 collection. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, um, hope you guys <laughs> enjoy the video. Alright, I had to find a chair because I need to sit down for this video. But, um, got two seasons of Martin. You know, when this TV show was out on TV, I loved watching the show. So I decided to get at least two seasons of it. Um, pretty sure we all know this. Let's sing the theme song together. Do. Now this is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down And I like to take a minute and just sit by right there <laughs> So, uh, of course, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, this TV show was the absolute-ish Carlton with his dances, you know, um, it was just a great TV show I loved all the characters in this show So I'm trying to get even more seasons for this show, but I got two right now Um, got the movie The Incred Incredible Hulk, um I was trying to get it on Blu-ray, but back when I was looking for it, they didn't have it, so I decided to get it on Standard Def. Um, but I don't do Standard Def no more, my brothers and sisters. I, I just can't do it. Um, I got Godzilla. Great movie, at least in my opinion. You know, some people, when they think, you know, movies with dinosaurs, they go right to Jurassic Park. I actually like God, uh, Godzilla. Um, got Fantastic Four. Probably one of the fewest superhero movies that I actually didn't like, um, but I got Fantastic Four. I uh, got the Polar Express, dude. This movie is an absolute classic. I love this movie, you know, because it's around, you watch this movie around Christmas time. It's just, it's just a great movie, man. If I'm depressed, I watch this movie. Got Nick Cannon's probably best movie he ever did, uh, <laughs> Drumline. Um, so I got that. Not really much else to say. Got the 0506 NBA Championship DVD when the Heat won the championship in uh, 06. So, um,. Guess it's about that time to uh, get a 011 012 uh, championship DVD. <laughs> Suckers. Um, I got Hancock once again on standard def because I, I was looking for it on Blu ray, but I got it on standard def because I couldn't find it on Blu ray. Um, but basically, if you don't know what this movie about is, is about, just imagine Superman, a black version, and he's constantly drunk, and you get Hancock with a twist towards the middle, you know, so uh, that's really what Hancock is, is about, I got a, a movie I've never, I've never watched, but I got, I got like three Christmas movies last year, you know, during Christmas, so I got Jingle All the Way with the, uh, Guided Schwarzenegger, <laughs> with, with the uh, Schwarzenegger, uh, but I never watched movies, so I don't even know how, how it is, I got A Christmas Carol, which I actually did watch, it's, it's a good movie, Home Alone classic movie, okay, Miracle on 34th Street. Like I said, I got a whole bunch of Christmas movies, but um, and uh, High School Phenoms before they were pros. Got a Mario Stoudemire, Carmelo Anthony, uh, The One Ring King James, uh, Sebastian Telfair, which she has completely disappeared, and Dwight Howard. Um, so got this. Uh, let's move on to my Blu rays, which I'm trying to get up. I'm trying to get my Blu ray DVD collection up, but I got X Men The Last Stand. I'm a huge X-Men fan, so I got X-Men The Last Stand, um, got King Kong, this movie is great, I still watch this movie till this very day, I loved this movie, uh, got I Am Legend, Will Smith, when are you gonna make a I Am Legend 2, you already did a Men in Black 3, so really, now the movies you need to do is I Am Legend, is I Am Legend 2, uh, Bad Boys 3, and, um, pretty much that's it, um, Got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. This is Transformers 2 right here. Uh, I still need to pick up Transformers 3, but I got Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. Great movie. X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Like I said, I'm a huge X-Men fan, so I got this movie too. This movie's good. You know, I, I don't like the way they did Deadpool, you know, but uh, 
this is a little, uh, overall good movie in my opinion. Um, got Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Great movie, man. Basically, this movie shows you how smart apes can become, you know. And uh, this movie actually had me scared of about how smart apes could get. <laughs> but uh, great movie right here. Last but not least, Will Smith's Seven Pounds. This movie made me cry, and uh, I'm not ashamed to say that. So let's move on to my uh, Xbox 360 collection. Um, I don't really have that much Xbox games, which is no surprise, because really, like I always say, I really have an Xbox mainly for the Halo franchise. If Xbox did not have Halo, count me out of buying an Xbox. But uh, <laughs> here's Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Rocksteady made Batman Arkham Asylum and uh, Arkham City. Rocksteady, if you can make a Spider-Man game, I will forever be in your debt. Because I truly believe the only developer who can truly pull off making a good Spider-Man game is Rocksteady. I, I, I really think they can make a good Spider-Man game. But got Spider-Man Web of Shadows right here. Um, this was actually a, a pretty good spy, uh, Spider-Man in my opinion. But I got Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Got Super Street Fighter 4. One of the best fighters you can get right now. Super Street Battle Foul. Um, NBA 2K12 on black. There's no surprise here. I don't even... I don't know. Am I going to get 2K13? I don't know. You know, because they're, they're really not showing any improvements with, with the gameplay I've seen so far. But, of course, you know, they don't come out until October. You know, but, you know, we... You know, now you got Live 13 coming back, you know, from that absolute atrocious elite. <laughs> but, uh, NBA 2K12 right here. I, I don't know. I, I just want to see a little bit more improvement in these basketball games, you know. Um, got Halo, the Anniversary Collection. Basically, this is Halo, Halo 1 Remade in HD. And I got this from a gift from one of my subscribers. I actually met one of my subscribers in real life. He brought, um, it It was him and a sister. And we met in Pollo Trop, uh, Trop, uh, Trop, oh my god, we met in Pollo Tropy Call, and you know, I was about to get chicken, but I'm like, I eat too much chicken, so I got a chick, so I got a chicken sandwich instead, you know, so, um, yeah. But, uh, he actually gave me this game for free, because he had more than one copy, so, uh, dude, shout out to you, that was, that, that, that was a pretty cool day for me to meet one of my subscribers. Um, Halo 3. Great Halo, man. Great Halo. I, I, I didn't appreciate this Halo as much because when Halo, when Halo 3 came out, you know, you're like, uh, Halo 2 is so much better, but now Reach is the most current Halo. I'm just starting to realize how good this Halo was. <laughs> but uh, Halo 3, great Halo. Can't wait for Halo 4. Halo Reach is not a bad Halo. It's not a bad Halo. A lot of this, this game gets a, a, gets a bad rep for um, destroying the Halo franchise. You know, it's no longer on the MLG circuit. Halo Reach was not a bad Halo. It just did a lot of things that weren't meant to be in Halo. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it, it's not a bad game. Halo 2, greatest Halo of all time. If you disagree, kick rocks. Um, Gears of War, triple pack. This is basically Gears 1 and Gears 2 all in one uh, disc. So that's pretty cool right there. Uh, and Gears of War 3. Great Gears. I think this is the best Gears out of the entire franchise. The story is the best in this one. The online is good. The only thing is, the things like sawed-off shotguns and retro lancers, it just kind of gets you frustrated a little bit. <laughs> but uh, that's all my that's all my Xbox three uh, 360 games. Like I said, I don't really have that many Xbox 360 games, you know. Um, I do plan on getting more soon, though. And now you have basically four stacks of PS3 games, so... If you think I'm a PS3 fanboy, I'm not. I'm just being up for and honest with you. I buy it. I have an Xbox for Halo. That is it, okay? That is the only exclusive I care about on Xbox. But um, before I get to my PS3 games, got a short collection of PS2 games. Got SOCOM Combined Assault. This game is freaking a miracle compared to SOCOM 4. We all know what happened to SOCOM 4. Um, best SOCOM of all time, SOCOM 2. If you disagree, don't really care. Got the Spider-Man game, um, and uh, let's move on to my, uh, <laughs> y'all can't see my porn collection, oh, I'm joking, uh, what, what is in here, I forgot, to be honest with you, uh, IS, kill, Kills on 1 on, uh, the PlayStation 2, got that, so that was really the only, I used to have a lot more PS2 games, but I started trading them in when I decided to get a next-gen console, so that's why I don't really have that much no more. 
but I just kept those four. I don't know why. Um, here's my PS3 games. It's got a I don't know what stack to start off with first. Um, let's start from the top, right to the bottom, my brother. Um, got Max Payne 3. Did did my review for this game not too long ago. Um, great game, Max Payne 3. Got Street Fighter X Tekken. Um, great game. I just wish they would add DLC that people actually care about instead of adding new costume outfits over and over again. They still haven't added new characters to this game yet. But, um, Street Fighter X Tekken got that, you know. Before this game came out, it was a lot of hype around it. Um, got, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 slash Modern Warfare 3. Um, yeah, you Call of Duty fan and fan. <laughs> Yeah, you Call of Duty fan, fanboys mad. You mad, bro? Yeah, you mad. I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, the only reason why I said Slash 3 is because I, I I played Modern Warfare 3 for my first time, Um, I think like a week ago, online. I'm like, dude, this game is... I'm not even trying to hate. I felt like I was playing Modern Warfare 2. The only difference is you got new maps, you know, new new kill streaks and stuff, but I'm, I, I'm not getting into that. I, I, I'm not hating on Call of Duty. I'm probably going to get Black Ops 2 just, just because of the simple fact I skipped out on buying Modern, um, buying Modern Warfare 3 this year. So, I might get Black, uh, Black Ops 2, but I'm not sure about that yet because it comes out, you know, around the same time that Halo 4 comes out, and if you ask me, Halo 4, Black Ops 2, um, Halo 4, okay, thank you, um, got Resistance 3 right here, um, great game, um, you know, I think they're pretty much done with the Resistance franchise, you know. Sad thing, because I, I liked it a lot. But the online wasn't good on Resistance since Resistance Fall of Man. So, I, I don't know. But, really, campaign's great. Got kills on two. High, all the kills on games are underrated. They're great games. But it's just, people don't like it because of the controls. The way it feels. People say you feel like... You're Rick Ross while playing this game because you move around so sluggishly and stuff. Screw that. Killzone 2 is a great game. And Killzone 3 and Killzone 1. So I got Killzone 2 right there. That's my first stack of PS3 games. Got Batman Arkham Asylum right here. Like I said, if Rock said he can make a Spider-Man game, it would be a godsend. Got Batman Arkham Asylum. Batman Arkham City, which was way better than Arkham Asylum in my opinion. Um, this game was a potential game of the year candidate. It was a great game. Got Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, got Infamous 2, got uh, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, which I know people personally who bought this game and have never touched the single player, but I'll always play on the multiplayer. Just a quick few, um, I guess, shots fired at people that are terrible at, at this game online. Um, Jihad 14. Zagger 11, uh, Green Hornet slash Green Lantern slash Green, um, whatever you call yourself. Broken Games HD, uh, Breezy TV, uh, Zamichi, uh, Aaron Zones, The Real Beezy, Weezy F Baby Who Forgot to Say the Baby, uh, Michael Moore, you're absolute trash. You get a legit, co uh, get a legit internet connection. Uh, anyways, you get the point. I'm basically, I don't play this game. I can get on this game right now. Destroy noobs. Um, Uncharted Three, um, Metal Gear Solid Four, right here. Still to this very day, this is one of the best games you can get on PS3. Metal Gear Solid Four. Metal Gear Solid Five is in the making, so excited for that. Got Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. Great game. Got Uncharted 1, Drake's Fortune. Great game. Some people never play this game yet. Get the whole Uncharted collection. They are a great series. Uncharted Drake's Fortune right here. Mortar Storm. This came with my first PS3 that I got. You know, the fat PS3, sadly. It yellow lighted it yellow lighted of death on me, and I was shocked as hell because I never thought if any if any system was to break on me, I was thinking Xbox. But it, my Xbox has never broken on me once. My PS3 broke on me one time already, and this game came with the fat PS3 that I got. But now I rather got a slim. So Motor Storm right there got Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, best Call of Duty out of the entire franchise in my opinion. If you disagree, once again, kick rocks. Uh, God of War 3. Great PS3 game, God War Ascension comes out. I'm not sure the exact date for that, but God, but God War 3 was a great game. Uh, Kills on 3, underrated, great game, but right now the online is absolutely infested, rampant with campers. Oh my god, the online is basically just Camp City, but still, this is a great game. 
got Battlefield 3. I'm trying to get into this game more, but Battlefield 3 is one of those games where you, you know how Call of Duty is, you can, you know, basically play with yourself and still have, you know, some sort of fun. You need a team, like really people to talk to on Battlefield 3, because it's really a team tactical game, so online I don't really play that much because I'm really trying to find people to play with, and a lot of people on my friends list, the only shooters they play is Call of Duty, Uncharted, you know, and, you know, I don't know, it's just, you, know, you don't really see, uh, at least on my friends, there's not a lot of people play this game, probably like five or six people, um, but Battlefield 3, great game, Skyrim, which I need to get into more, but Skyrim, it's like a life decision with, with this game, it's either, it's either, um, do what you do in your real life or play the, this game and forget about your real life because you're going to have to put a lot of time into this game and you know Skyrim it's a great game but man you got to sit down and play this game like it's it's not a game where you can play it for like a half an hour and just like turn on no you got to put some time into this game and you know just just so many things to do in this game and you know but I need to start this I need to get back into this game Skyrim great game I they won game of the year I think it did right yeah they won game of game of the year uh last year got resistance 2 also my last ps3 game fight night round four so uh that's it my dvd collection xbox 360 and ps3 collection um you know some people requested this video you know because i haven't done one in a while so um why not answer the people so i did it um Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to do a video response, you know, actually, I actually encourage you guys, you know, show me your, your, your game collection, you know, show me what you got, you know, show me your DVDs, show me your Xbox 360 collection, show me your PS3 collection, my brothers and sisters, you know, I'm interested in seeing, so, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, someone got to clean this up, so, uh, hey, Ma, come here.